Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade your MacBook to older version of macOS without a bootable USB stick this time. So let's get started. All right guys, so before I get started, I just want to say that about eight months ago, I actually did make a video about how to downgrade MacBooks to their older macOS versions. The only problem with this method it required a USB stick, software to write on the USB stick, you know, know how to write, erase the disk and all that. It was complicated. So I'm making this video today as a direct replacement of this video to make it easier for everyone to do. And this only works on Intel-based Macs, the right way I'm going to show you now. If you have an Apple Silicon, it's a totally different method. So I'm only showing Intel-based downgrades today. First of all, make sure your activation lock is off. If you have iCloud and activation lock turned on, then this will not work. All right, so first of all, you need to shut down your computer by holding the power button. Make sure it's connected to power at all times while doing this. So with the computer powered off, we're gonna press four keys in this order. Shift, Option, Command, R. Then, while holding those four keys down, press and hold the power button. What we're going to do is start up internet recovery. It boots the computer into a special recovery mode. This will allow us to restore the computer to the original version that the computer shipped to us from the store and we took it out of the box. And now you can see it's going to start internet recovery. This does take at least half an hour just to do sometimes, but depending on your internet speed, this can go really quick. All right, guys, so I'm back in internet recovery has now finished loading and now we're in recoveries mode. And now you can see it's now offering me the original version that my computer shipped to us, which is OS 10 Yosemite. If your computer shipped with OS 10 Lion, it'll offer you that one, and so on. I had to try it on my main computer right over here, running Sonoma, and they offer me Mac OS Mojave, the original firmware. So now, first thing we gotta do is erase the disk. We double click on disk utility. And so in my last video, the one mistake a lot of people are making while doing this, like when they're trying to do this process, they're only erasing the SSD. They're not erasing the media, which is disk OS2, like this. So if you have multiple disks, like volumes and media and stuff, you'll have to erase those as well. But if your computer looks like this, then you sh it should be easy. So we're gonna click erase, erase again. You see, it's now erasing the disk. So with that disk erase, we're not gonna erase the second one. And there we go, now we're good. Now you can see, I have SD and utility. The utility is basically the data disk, which is part of the SSD. And that's where it'll install it on. So we're gonna click the X button to get out of that. Now we're gonna double click on OS 10 right here. For you guys, it may be different, depending on which version your computer shipped with. We're gonna hit continue, continue here. Now it's gonna load the install information. We're gonna click agree. And there we go, you see, it's now telling me to install to utility, the main data disk, which we just erased. So if you see any disk that has the erase button, go ahead and erase all of them. That will allow this to work properly. Go ahead and click install. And now, just like that, it's now downloading some additional components to allow this install to work. I saw it back and my computer just powered down automatically. Depending on which version you're starting this downgrade from, it'll ask you if you want to power down the computer manually or wait till it does it itself. But since I did it for Monterey, I, it did it automatically. And there I go. So now it's going to start installing the software.
All right, guys, so I'm back. The downgrade has successfully finished. We're now on OS 10 Yosemite. For you guys, it may be different because you guys may have a computer that shipped with a different OS, not Yosemite. And just like that, we're now running OS 10 Yosemite. Go up to about this Mac, you can see OS 10 Yosemite. But since OS 10 is not the official name of Mac OS anymore, when you, every time you use a computer and go back, it will say on archive sometimes. That is normal. All right, so that is how you downgrade your MacBook to, to older versions of the Mac OS today. This method will allow you to go as far back as OS X Lion. If you want to go back to Snow Leopard and earlier, you would have to use the install disk that, that came with the older software. Because not all computers run Snow Leopard and earlier. The 2000, I'm not sure, but I think at least the 2009 MacBooks that earlier can run those softwares. So that's basically it for this video. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up to my video. Peace out.